Hi there guys, I'm making another video. I wanted to show you the project I've been working on. I spent a lot of time making a video of actually painting it, but I paused the camera throughout it, so when I went to go to the video editing thing I have on my computer, it didn't let me save it because it was stop motion throughout the video, so I wanted to show you what I did with the, my Back to the Future time machines. I did two because I did one and put it together completely and I couldn't really show the video of me painting it so I decided to use this one and show a video of me painting it which I ended up not being able to do so I couldn't edit it or anything so um, I'll show you what I did this one's still taken apart anyway now I'll start with the base. The base, um, there's this little wire that goes across the back. It's kind of hard to see. But that and the big thing, whatever it's connected to, I painted a metallic gray or silver, if you will. And then the interior is next. What I did with the interior was I practically painted everything but the seats and part of the dash. The the color that the seats are is the color the entire interior thing was. Everything else is painted. I'll add pictures at the end because my phone camera does better than my video camera on my phone. So I'll add the pictures. But this is what I did with it. I added the flux capacitor back there. Uh, do a bunch of the wires and stuff. The reason I'll add the pictures is because if you want to do one too... Uh, you know how to drill a hot wheel apart. It's a pretty fun project to paint it. You just need really small paint brushes. It's not that hard, even if you're not a good painter. I mean, I suck at painting, and I'm surprised I did this. The windshield, I painted this part black, this part black, right here. And where the pillars go, I also painted black. And the inside, those little lines that come up, I'm not sure if you can see on the camera, but they're painted silver. All of them. So. Now, I'll go to this piece. This is the shell, I call it usually. And what I did was I put black all over the car where these lines are right here, 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 and on this side too. I put black on it and then I put dabbed a little bit of water on with it and each spot and then I wiped it off with a paper towel so the lines are filled in with black paint and they're more visible as you can see you can tell where the doors are a lot easier and that actually made a pretty big difference and this the, you can see the paint's chipping right there but the metal was chipping or something was wrong I was able to rip a piece of the metal off because it was sticking out so I decided to paint the top of each piece black just a little bit it's not that visible when it's on the car and right here you can see it's silver there's the yellow dot and there's two little wires right there you can see it right there that is also another thing I painted and it like right there you think oh it wasn't worth all that paint as you can barely see even when you put that on it looks really nice uh, when you see the pictures you probably want to make one of your own you can see a lot of the it's it's actually pretty cool because it's very detailed what it's already got and then once you just paint it a little bit like right here I mixed the red and yellow and made orange so I didn't have to buy another orange paint because I barely used any of it same thing with all the other paints the one I used most of was black <laughs> anyways Thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye bye.